Hello everybody, um, today we're going to look at genetic crosses again and in particular we're going to look at um, sex linkage and linkage. So we'll start off with 2012 question 12 BII, then we're going to move down to 2007 question 5, and then we're going to move down to 2005 question 10 there. Okay, so between those three questions, I think that's it, yeah, between those three questions we should have a fair idea of what sex linkage is and how to solve it as well as linkage actually for that matter okay so let's get started the question reads there the son of a haemophiliac father was, was not haemophiliac okay explain in detail how this situation might have arisen okay so we know from before that for males we have xy and for females and the little x there we have xx okay that's fine okay we know that part of it uh, we should know that in terms of sex linkage and haemophilia is um, a sex linked disease um, that there is nothing on the y chromosome so we just do a little dash there okay now what we have to do is a little key so we will just say capital n here equals normal um that's grand so capital n capital n okay um and obviously capital n small n will also equal normal and if you want to be hemophilia and if you want to be but if it is hemophilia it will be um two recessive letters there um glial there um two small n's okay hemophiliac there if i can spell that right okay so the son of a haemophiliac father, okay, now, if there's nothing that can go on the Y chromosome, automatically the only thing that can go on the X chromosome has to be a small n, because if there's a small n, then there's, um, that means that the father, no matter what, will have to be haemophiliac. So we do a little n here. Now, some people do a subscript, like I do, and some people do a superscript, if they put it up here. Um, it doesn't actually matter which you do, as long as you stick to one and you go from there. Now, we're told that the sun is hemo is not hemophiliac, I should say. So the sun is going to have um, X and Y, like this. And I'll just change the, um, the sun here, just to have an idea. Okay, so that's grand. Uh, and we know nothing on the Y. And if it's not hemophiliac, that means it has to be a capital N. So capital N down there. Okay, so there's no way that the, um, that, that big N came from the father because the only thing that can come from the dad essentially is the Y chromosome. The son is inheriting the X chromosome of the mother. Now, if there's a small a capital N here, that means one of these X's over here have to also be a capital N. So we do a small a capital N here, I should say. Um, now, you're not actually told anything about the mother. If the mother was, um, in terms of heterozygous, if she was um, heterozygous or if she was um, what we're looking for homozygous dominant so it actually it doesn't really matter as much here but what we should do is just to do two capital N's just to be sure to be sure because no matter what okay no matter what the son will always then okay have um, the son will always then be uh, normal vision okay if it was a small n okay that you had over there well then it's a 50 50 chance then that the son could be haemophiliac and uh, in this case here we're told that the son was not haemophiliac and that's our answer there so look we've, we've that question there answered uh, again it's just for sex linkage for the most part it's just the knowing we should x's and y's and knowing what can go on what i suppose now haemophilia is one of them and red green color blindness is another one so i think that's what we'll come up to next so look, this is 2007, question five. Uh, in genetics, what is meant by sex linkage? That question comes up loads. Like all you have to do is say there that the alleles, I'll put it in all together, are located on the X chromosome. And that's it, done. Okay, um, so, Let's read part B there. So B is reading here. In humans, a sex-linked um, recessive allele, small c, is responsible for red-green color blindness. Okay, complete the blank spaces and so forth. Okay, we have a double x over here. 
So if that's the case, then over here we have to have an X and a Y because we have the mother over there and the father over here. So X, Y. That makes sense because see this guy here that there is um there's nothing on it. There's no Leo's on it. Um, there's a lowercase C here. It's fair enough, but um, nothing on this. And also look at the length. The length of the Y chromosome is actually half the length of the X chromosome. That's why um why nothing goes on the Y chromosome in terms of red green color blindness and hemophilia. Now let's have a look at the gametes. So it's the same business again. So for the gametes over here, we'll have an X and L, and we'll have a Y. And we know nothing goes on the Y automatically, so we do that little dash grant. And you can see there is a small C. Okay, and it is it is a small C. You have to be careful here with your letters because C's and S's. Very difficult to mix up because obviously you're looking at something that is um, similar in uppercase and lowercase. And if we're looking over here and now for the mother, we do two capital X's. One of them is a small c, which is this one here is where I'm getting it from. So I put in a small c here. And the other one is the big c, which is over here. So I put that um, over here. And I exaggerate everything for my c's just to make sure there's no problems. Now, I actually found the next part kind of tricky in the way that they have it done. So if we're looking at it here, this is the F1 generation here. So that basically means the offspring, the possible offspring you can get if we do have your combinations of these over here. Now, if we look at these already, we can see that these are all the same length and that there's alleles on both of them. So we can assume that both of these are X's. They're all X's there, okay? So if we're looking at it, um, what else could we get? Um, so look, we'll draw a line going down here. And we draw a half line down there because one of them has to be the Y chromosome. Okay, and we draw another one. And we draw a small um, one there because that has to be the Y again. Okay, um, so now we have to see what goes with what. Okay, so we know nothing goes into Ys. That's grand. Okay, but what about the Xs? Well, what are our options? If the Y is coming from this parent over here, okay, that's the father. Okay, that's fine. That means the Xs exclusively can only come from the mother. Okay, and there's two options. You could have the X being a small C, and you could have the X being a capital C there. Okay, so I'll just put those in there now. Small C, and this guy over here, so we'll have a big C, like so. So again, it's just coming from the mother, exclusively this X here, that's all. It's like a genetic cross, essentially. Okay, so just ignore the cross part. So if we look at the phenotypes and the sex, okay, so if we're going to, say what these um, essentially are so we have for this one over here first off we have female okay so that's fine and we have female here i know my writing is awful uh we have male here and we have male here okay grand now let's talk about the um the what's the word i'm looking for the actual phenotype so for this guy over here you can see that there's two lowercase letters okay so they would be um red green color blindness Okay, so we'll just do um, CB there to indicate that they're colorblind. This one over here is, is heterozygous, and as always, um, your total, as always, um, it, heterozygous conditions lead to the dominant gene being expressed. Okay, so this is going to be normal. Okay, um, the only time where this is not the case, uh, where it's heterozygous, is when it's incomplete dominance. But you'll be told when that is the case. And to be honest. Really, that's only for snapdragons and bone cattle for the most part. So look, we're going over to the males over here. We have a small C, and that small C indicates that he is going to be colorblind. And then we have a big C over here, so that indicates that that guy there is not going to be colorblind. He's going to have normal vision. And yeah, look, that's it, guys, for 2007, question 5, anyhow. Um, they love asking this definition up here, what is sex linkage? And all you do is say, alleles are located on the X chromosome. That's it. Um, Okay, but we have one more. Okay, we do. 2005, question 10. So, if we're reading it there, and you can see kind of similar type of layouts in terms of the questions being asked, okay? So, we're going to skip part I and part II and move to, because that's just going on about um, mental laws and so forth. And as soon as you have linkage, it means there will be less variation in the offspring, okay? So, let's look at the actual question, and that's part three. So red green color blindness is a sex link condition, which we know normal gives um, red green color normal red green vision results from the possession of the dominant allele. Okay, so the dominant allele in this case here is going to be a capital C. Okay, I'm not really sure why they gave it a C. Um, 
but anyhow that's what they did uh, so look we'll do our key there so key over here and we'll just remember that for the key we have our capital C two capital C's equals normal uh, capital C lowercase c equals um, normal as well and finally two lowercase c's there that is going to be our color bind so we'll do CB there um, okay we'll just keep our key to one side and we'll read the question there what's actually been asked okay um, question one there so before we move on we can see here that in each of the following cases give the genotypes of the mother and of the father okay so we're looking for the parents genotypes this time which is unusual because usually you're looking for the offspring but look we'll get there so for question one a family in which one daughter is red green colorblind and one daughter has normal vision okay so let's have a look there if we're going to tackle this one i suggest doing things just a little bit different okay so we'll go to the offspring here. And we're told for the offspring that they're both daughters, so capital X, capital X, and capital X, capital X there. Okay, grand. And we're told that one of the daughters um, is red green gold point. So that's the case. They have to have two um, lowercase c's, two small c's there. And that the other daughter has normal color vision. Okay, so that's fine too. Um, and if that's the case, then for in this case here, that it could either be a capital C or a lowercase C. But we'll just try um, a capital C there and see what happens. Okay, so look, this is the offspring here, grand. And now we have to figure out what are the parents as such. So I'll just go over here to our parents. Now, we know that the dad is X, Y, we know that, and the mother has to be X, X, okay? And we know nothing goes into Y, grand. Okay, so let's have a look here. We have a few options, like, if we're looking at it here for one of the daughters there, if she has a small C here, that means that small X, small C there is coming from one of those parents. And she has another X there, and it's a small C. So they're actually, both parents have to have a recessive allele present. So if we put it down there, that the father will have to have a small C present because that's where one of the um, one of these guys came from. And there's another one over here. And so that means the mother also has to have a small C present. Okay, so that's what we did there. Uh, it doesn't really matter which one you put it on. And we also have to put the mother as some, um, something else there too. And I'm just going to give myself a little bit more space there. I realize it's a tiny bit too close. Um, and in this case here, if we have a capital C over here, which we do here, we put it in. Okay. Now, if we're looking at it, okay, we can see there that for this guy over here, or for this girl, I should say, that this X sm um, small C had to go over here. We knew that because the Y chromosome isn't there. So the dad had to give the X um, chromosome there and over here one of these chromosomes and again it's this guy over here the X small c had to go over here so that's fine but if we look at the um, this child over here we have X small c and we have an X big c so in this case here actually the daughter now you weren't asked but this daughter there had to be um, heterozygous because she had to get the small c from the dad and therefore she had to get the big C from the mother because the mother, um, sorry, the daughter was, um, what's the word I'm looking for, was normal vision, normal colour vision. Now she is a carrier but that's neither here nor there, it's the parents we're looking for here. So for the parents there, that's what we have. Okay, heterozygous for the mother, she's a carrier and the father is, um, he actually is, has red green colour blindness. So if we're looking at question two now, okay, so it's asking you there a family in which all the sons are red green color blindness uh blind i should say and all the daughters are carriers okay so we'll have to split this up a small bit here um just to keep things um separate so we're told and we'll write it down the same format again guys okay we'll do the um offspring here 
And we'll do the parents up here. Okay, now we know automatically for the parents. Okay, it has to be x, y, and crossed with x, x. Give us a bit of x, too much space there, really. But Okay, and we know nothing goes into y chromosome. Grand. And we know if we have, uh, if they produce a son, okay, if you're, we're reading it here, if we're producing a son, they will all be red green color blindness. Have red green color blindness, I should say. So let's look at the sun here. X, Y here. Okay. And we know nothing goes on to a small Y chromosome here. And we know that the daughters will be carriers. So we do X, X here. And if she's going to be a carrier, that means she's going to have be heterozygous. So she'll be a capital C and a lowercase c. Okay. We have to figure out from this. And oh, I forgot. The sons are going to be red green color blindness. So we'll have that. We have to figure out here what the um, parents' genotypes are going to be. Okay, so if we're looking at it, let's just think about it for a second there. That this Y here is obviously coming from the father. Okay, we know the dad has to give that Y there. And therefore, for the X chromosome, okay, uh, has to come from the mother. Now, we're told in this that a family with all the sons are red green color blindness. Okay, so have red green color blindness. Excuse me. So in that case there, that leads me to think that the mother will almost definitely be um, colorblind herself because the sons are inheriting their X chromosome exclusively from the mother. And if all of them are red-green colorblindness for the sons, okay, that means they're fairly unlikely that she was heterozygous. And then if we look at the carrier over here for the daughter, so again, the X chromosome has to come from one of them um, and she's a carrier she so that means that the mother is giving the small c which is this one over here that means the dad will have to give the capital c okay so this x capital c there has to come from the dad because the mother is um has red green color blindness she only has small c's to give off so it's a tricky enough question really um where you're trying to you're working backwards and again you just need to do it out logically so do your key Next part, you do your offspring and write down, write them down, okay, um, and then you kind of just have to figure it out from there, I suppose. Just be careful with the wording because in this one here, it's the family in which all the sons are red, green, color blindness. And if that was the case, then like you wouldn't have a capital C here, okay? You'll just have one son, just put them in, uh, and have a small lowercase c there, I should say, and that he has um, red, green, color blindness. So look, that's it today, guys, for um, sex linkage and linkage. We'll be looking at another one soon enough, which will focus more on linkage. I suppose this is more on sex linkage. Um, but the the idea behind both of them are, is um, is the same, really. Um, so yeah, look, that's it, guys. Um, I hope it helped, and um, we'll see how it goes with the next one. Okay.